Tom? I am good. We are the uh, the bushwhackers of talk radio. Mr. T and Ratto. Absolutely. Up there. Hey, can I make one quick suggestion? Would that, would that be okay? The floor is yours, Tom Tolbert. Um, it, 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 when the guests are on hold and we have to listen to music for 60 seconds, yes. instead of having something that sounds like a Survivor soundtrack from a, a Rocky movie, could you go with Yakety Sack? Everyone loves Jackety Sack. Sort everyone, of like, like everyone. In a, I'm always in a good mood, so it doesn't matter. But everyone else will be in a good mood if like, you throw Jackety Sack from on there. from the uh, from the old Benny Hill show. Yeah, oh, got it. It's the oh, best. Okay. All right. Now, now in terms of that, Tom, uh, this is Chris Law's uh, Bailiwick, the on hold. Yes. He, he's he's he gives Rich Eisen show uh, folks on hold the white glove treatment in case you are on hold for too long. So, Law, this is now your bailiwick. Can you get better music for we, the we will, we will take care of it. Okay, Tom. Del Tufo's efforting. Check that box. Check that box here at the Rich Eisen Show. Thank you. Uh, is, is, that like, is that like white glove treatment as in the doctor or a maid? Mm, I think in terms of the service that you would get here on the show. Like, like the Stanley Cup, if like you pristine. Or, if you order something here on the Rich Eisen Show, Chris Law will bring it to your house and install it. That's the Fantastic. white glove treatment. I like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so let's talk about this Warriors team. Our poll question is, did the Warriors win it or Oklahoma City Thunder blow it? Where do you stand on the subject, Tom? Uh, well, it's always a, a, a little bit of both. I would tend to say the Warriors won it more than the Thunder choked it, but I, I think the Thunder will look back on the fourth quarter of game six where I thought they kind of did what they did during the regular season occasionally, which is just say, Durant, Westbrook, Bayless out, please, and... They didn't trust their teammates. They, they took 14 of the 19 shots in that fourth quarter, game six. They had zero assists as a team uh, in that fourth quarter. Almost impossible to have zero assists in a quarter of basketball. But then when it really came down to it, I mean, Clay hit some massive shots and a bunch of them in game six. And then Steph and Clay hit a bunch of shots in game seven. In the last two games of the series, game six and game seven, they outscored the Thunder by 84 points from the three-point line, and that's just what they do. I mean, no one else has that capability to do that consistently, and Steph and Clay give this team that no one in, in NBA history has ever had, guys that can just light you up in a hurry, and at the end of the day, you know, you're looking at 16, 17 three-pointers made versus six or seven. It's hard to make up those points when they're, when they're hitting that many three-pointers on you consistently. And then that said, though, uh, Tom, had some of those shots not fallen and Oklahoma City advanced, we would be talking about the so-called blueprint being uh, put together to beat the Warriors. And I'm sure the Cavs picked something up, regardless of the results of this series. What, what did the Thunder show or expose in the Warriors that you think the Cavs might be able to exploit with their roster? Well, unless the Cavs get a lot more athletic and a lot longer on defense, they're not going to be able to do what the Thunder, the Thunder did. The Thunder did it because they have tremendous athleticism and they have tremendous length on the perimeter. And for a good part of the series, they did a nice job of switching out, making it difficult on Steph and making it difficult on Clay. But Steph got it going and Clay got it going. And when they get it going, they get it going in different ways. <clears throat> Excuse me, Rich, in that. Clay will just shoot over you. Clay's a catch and shoot guy, shoot over you. Steph's the guy that will go crossover behind his back, between his legs, step back, and then drop a three right in your face. And there's not a whole lot you can do about it. But I think you have to try at whatever expense to take away the three. You just have to. I mean, these guys are going to get shots off and they're going to make some, but you have to take away the three. The problem is, is instead of Russell Westbrook out there hounding you, it's going to be Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving is not nearly the defender that Westbrook is, especially on the ball. Instead of Serge Ibaka out there hounding you, it's going to be Kevin Love guarding you. Now, they're going to present a challenge offensively that the Warriors didn't have to face against the Thunder because both of those guys can really shoot it. Kyrie Irving can handle the ball. In fact, he might be second to Steph in ball handling in the league. He is fantastic. So I think offensively, Cavaliers are going to present a few more problems than maybe the Thunder did. But defensively, I think the Warriors are going to have a much easier time uh, solving that puzzle than they did the Thunder puzzle. So how does that work out when it's all said and done in the wash? Can the, can the Cavs, I guess, wear the Warriors down on the defensive 
end in a way that the Thunder could not and then prevail in this? Nah, it, it hurts me to see it. I mean, the Cavaliers are playing their best ball of the season. No doubt. But I think they're – to me, the Cavs are a better offensive team than they are uh, a defensive team. And I don't know that's the way you beat the Warriors by outscoring them because it's really hard to outscore them. Now, they have guys – that can really, really shoot it. I mean, Kyrie Irving can shoot it. Love can shoot it. J.R. Smith has been shooting it. Channing Fry comes off the bench, and he's been shooting it. Della Vadova can hit a shot for you. I mean, they got a whole bunch of guys on that team that can shoot, but can they? are they going to be able to score at the rim other than LeBron? I mean, I think the key to the series could be the Iguodala-LeBron matchup because LeBron is just a bull. But if he can get going, get Iguodala in foul trouble, force some double teams, kick it out. Those guys can shoot some threes. Uh, I, I think it's going to be a fun series. I really do. The Cavs are going to be motivated to get it. Uh, they said they would have won last year if they'd have been healthy. Well, now it's time to put up or shut up. They're healthy now. It's time to get this thing going. And the Warriors, I'm sure, want to prove, hey, we don't care if you're healthy or not. We're the champs. We're going to remain the champs. Tom Tolbert joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. Who do you think Lou puts on Curry? Oh, man. Uh, well, I mean, it, it's going to be tough because if, if Irving's not guarding him, who are you going to put Irving on? I mean, do you put Irving on Iguodala maybe? I mean, that, that's a possibility. Uh, you try to say, okay, make Iguodala beat us, and maybe you put LeBron on Curry some. Maybe you put LeBron on Clay. It's hard to put a smaller guy in Clay because he just rises up and shoots over you. So it, it – you can't put LeBron on him a ton, though, because you're counting on him so much for what you do offensively. You can't just wear him down. You can't say, here, guard this guy for 30 minutes a game, chase him around all over the court, and then, oh, yeah, do everything for us offensively. So I think with Steph, it's going to be it's a team effort. And you can't, you can't put one guy on him and expect to stop that guy. So you've got to have guys in help position. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me they just trap him. So, you know what, let's just get the ball out of his hands and then try to deny him the ball. That's the one thing that always cracks me up when you watch guys in the NBA. They'll, they'll trap a guy, and then they'll let him get the ball right back. I'm like, well, why did you, what are you doing? Hmm. Why, why'd you trap him? I mean, the, uh, uh, I, I was taught this at a young age. The best way to stop a great score from scoring is don't let him get the ball. I mean, make him work his butt off just to get the ball. But a lot of times, you know, they'll just like back off and let the guy get the ball. So, uh, I would I would suspect there'll be a lot of trapping going on with Steph. Try to get the ball out of his hands, and at the expense of giving open shots to other guys, make other guys beat you. And you know we're going to make uh, something of the Curry Lebron being on the same floor relationship. And when Curry was named the unanimous MVP, and Lebron gave him his props, but also turned into Webster trying to define a word. Mm -hmm. uh, the yeah. definition of valuable, we kind of went back and forth in the media about, uh-oh, and Steph didn't have much to say in response. Is there something simmering there, or are we making something of nothing? Tom? We're in the media. We always make something of nothing. Of we course we do. To talk about. But... Like, don't, people re don't people realize that? I mean, we have, like, three, four hours to fill. That's I mean, of course, you try to find stuff, and you're like, mm -hmm. let's see, I could make, yeah, it's worth about 30 seconds, but I think if I really twist it this way and look at it, I can get I can get a segment or two out of this. I mean, don't people realize that? It's hard work. Yeah, I know. So is there is there something to it, though, no. Tom? No. Okay. <laughs> See, I just made 30 seconds out of nothing. Very well done. Actually, you know what would have been better? And, and we'll play this uh, as your traveling music going out. We should have played this underneath your the last few seconds. Thank you. There you go, Tom. <laughs> yeah. Now, look, doesn't that make anything better? I mean, there's nothing, I, I kid you not, that makes everything better. If you played that mm -hmm. while I was eating lima beans, I would actually semi-enjoy lima beans and i hate lima beans but lima beans and yakety sack i can probably choke down about seven or eight of those beans got a boy tom thanks for joining I'll, i'd love to have you back during the finals as well no problem rich anytime you got it that's tom told right. the rich eisen show weekdays at noon eastern on audience